I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore how to write pattern rules with the help of blocks. It is going to be a very interesting exercise. I like you to participate along with me and learn about patterns. So here what I will do is I will write few figure numbers. We will have patterns and I will say my I will make three figures. I will say figure number one figure number two and uh, figure number three. Using blocks I'll make three different figures. What you need to do is you need to use words to describe the pattern and then you have to write an algebraic expression to describe the pattern rule. Right. So you have to do two things once I sketch. First you need to use words to describe the pattern and the second one is you need to use algebraic equation to describe the pattern rule. Now I will use different kinds of blocks. I could use square blocks, triangle blocks like that, right? So uh, those are the shapes, two dimensional shapes I'm going to use in my drawings. To begin with what I will do is I will use three blocks in the first figure then I'll increase the number by two each time. So three, five, seven, and so on. So this pattern can continue. What you can do at home is you can draw the similar pattern for figure number four and five. So we'll concentrate on three here. You can always extend it to figure number four and five. Okay, so let me draw three blocks and we will describe these blocks. So I'll make combination of red and green. So three blocks which I chose to draw will be kind of like this. Let us say one I want to keep fixed as a triangle. Let us say for each. And as far as the square block goes, I want to increase that square block uh, each time by one. So I have two to start with and then next time so I have three here right so next time I need to have four here correct so but I keep the triangular block same so I have four this time and then I increase by two more so I have six in the figure number three now you need to describe this particular pattern rule and your description should have total number of blocks right so we are having uh, one fixed and the other one is increasing by two. So can you describe this pattern? One of the descriptions I've already given here is that we start with three blocks and we increase by two each time. So that could be a good description, right? So you could use that description to describe the pattern. So if you go with that pattern, you know, figure number four will have nine blocks since you increase by two each time right so that is a valid description now the second part of this question is how do we write algebraic expression to describe the pattern rule now algebraic expression what does it really mean uh, what we will do here we will introduce you to a variable so our variable will be n so n is could be any value but we'll take n as figure number for us so n is figure number for us we'll write in terms of n so here how many blocks do we have what we see is one is fixed so if one is fixed i will write one first let me write one and then how many are variable how many are changing so we change by two each time in figure number one we have two in figure number two we have four which are changing in figure number three we have six so it is two times n do you see that we are increasing by two so that gives you two times n n is my figure number now if i use this expression two times n plus one and if i write n as equals to 1 let me do the calculation and show you figure number is 1 for me right so if I write 2 times 1 plus 
1, what do I get? 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. I get 3, the total number of blocks in figure number 1, right? Now, whenever we write expressions, we do not write multiplication sign. 2 times n, it means that, right? So, without any operation sign here, it means multiplication. So, 2 times n plus 1 is 3. In this case, it is figure number 2. n is number of figure, right? So, it be 2 times 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. It gives me the total number of blocks in figure number 2. So, that expression 2n plus 1 represents the total number of blocks. Do you see that? Here, if I write 3 for n, I get 2 times 3 plus 1. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So, I do get total number of blocks 7, right? Now, the advantage of algebraic expression, as you can see from here, is if my question is, let me write down a question for you. Question for you is, how many blocks will be in figure number 10? Can you tell me that? So for you, the question is, how many blocks will be in figure number 10? How are you going to find it? You can use the algebraic equation, which is 2n plus 1, to find the answer. n should be 10 for you. Correct? I hope you got it. The answer for you should be 21. Correct? So 21 is the answer for you. You should do your work and show the answer. How do you get 21? 2 times 10 is 20 plus 1. 21. So that is how we get the answer. But in this particular video, I hope you understand how to relate figure numbers with the number of blocks and how to write an algebraic expression. So this is what we are given here is basically an algebraic expression. Right? If, if we do not write any equal to sign, it becomes algebraic expression. If I write equal to sign, that is total number of blocks is equal to 2n plus 1, that becomes algebraic equation. Right? So we could use algebraic expression or equation to describe our pattern. And with the help of algebraic equation, we can find the total number of blocks in any pattern directly right so that is the advantage for writing algebraic expression i hope with this you understand how to describe a pattern how to write algebraic equation or an expression and find the total number of blocks in any figure thank you and all the best